Welcome back. We have here Sandra Reed. Uh, she's a businesswoman and she's the founder of First Choice uh, VA Limited. Sandra, before the break, we were just talking about uh, the various um, services you provide mm -hmm. as a business, uh, as a businesswoman, also as a, under your business First Choice Limited. But also, talk about you also do internet research. What is that internet research? Uh, what okay. kind of research do you do? Um, well, it depends on what the client wants. They yeah. may want to find out about a particular company, um, how many employees, it could be any, yeah. anything. So basically, I'll go onto the internet and do a research, whether it's by Google, mm. find out as much information as I can um, regarding the subject that they've asked me to research, and, yeah. and, and that's it, really. I mean, in terms of uh, you do, how different is bookkeeping to invoicing? I'm, I'm a bit... Um, <coughs> I, don't know. I suppose bookkeeping is basically is yeah. my, you know my basic bookkeeping skills because I can't advertise that I'm a bookkeeper. Okay. Um, so I um, input um, invoices and um, can we do that again? Yes. Yeah, go on, keep, just keep going. You, okay. So you do invoicing. Right. You do invoicing yeah. and input all the invoices onto a spreadsheet for okay. um, customers. Um, invoicing is basically you know putting together an invoice for my clients. So if yeah. they've got a bill, I can, you know, put together the invoice and send it out to clients. But that's very good for small businesses, uh, mm. Sandra, you know, in terms of the invoicing, because then you chase them. You've, once you've done the bookkeeping, the basic bookkeeping, mm -hmm. you see the bills are standing. Yes. And whatever is outstanding, then your next step would be to, to, to chase those, uh, right. uh, chase those um, creditors. Yes. Um, in terms of, is, and what kind of services do you provide? Because I saw that you do like various services, like is it gold, how does it work in terms of oh, if the, people want the, to buy into it, the packages? The bronze, silver, medallion, gold yeah. packages, they are, um, bronze is 10 hours, then it goes 20, 30, 40 hours per month for usage. Yeah. And with each of those packages, you get a complimentary hour. Okay. Um, I'm currently doing a 25% discount for new clients mm -hmm. um, and the fees start from 250 a month. Okay. So basically, you can buy in in different in bulk. In bulk. Yes. So therefore, you just pay that and you feel, okay, that's it. Yes. This is the service I need Sandra to do for the next few yes. weeks. For me. And it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be ongoing. Would no. It would just be no. a, um, a short term yes. project. If somebody, for example, is looking to start a business or starting to, he's got a lot of work on, they can yes. just bring you in. And, that's it, for and a month, two for a months. Month and, 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 which is great. Because again, you don't have, they don't have that overhead cost, do no. they? Because you do no. everything away. From, from the office, so all they need to do is either meet you yes. or post stuff to yes. you, or and you email. could just email it and you could just get on with it. But what I'm worried about is, Sandra, what about confidentiality, data protection, when people send you these things? Because okay. as a virtual assistant, yes. you're away from, I suppose, I'm, I'll probably be worried and think, oh my God, what about my, yes. my, my data? And, and well, so I am signed up with the Data Protection Act um, okay. 1998, yeah. um, for which details are on my website. So. As a company, we take data protection very seriously. And yeah. um, so if I wanted, to, if a client wasn't sure, then they can look at the website and see my details um, as to the number, data protection number that I'm assigned to. And that is quite critical, isn't yes. it? Because if people, obviously, they can check, they can see that you, yes. know, you are, you are. So is there like a test? What do you have to do to, to get this data protection? Um, you just contact the company, explain to them you've started a company um, yeah. and you want to be, uh, assigned to um, data protection and yeah. you just basically fill out an application form and pay a, a yearly fee. So your, your clients, when they look at your website and you have that data protection act and the number, they know that, well, you're covered. Okay. Is there, I know we've talked about this, going back just quickly, we've talked about the various businesses that, you know, you would talk about sole trader, medium-sized company that actually could use your service. Mm -hmm. But are there any typical industry that could benefit from your service or you just think... Anybody can you and any, and these businesses. Um, any anybody can benefit from a virtual assistant. It doesn't have to be a specific um, industry. Um, what my niche market is is women. Um, okay. As what I'd like to do is really help women like myself who are running a business, who yeah. do have children, yeah. and who understand running a business and having children is you know juggling different things at the same time. So wanting to help them is I'm I'm very passionate about wanting to help women in that way and what has been the most popular service people have actually come to you for what i mean has it been the courier service is it because you do book you also book couriers you do a lot of other other tasks so what are people come what would you say is the, are the most what would you say is the most popular uh, bookkeeping in fact has been 
quite popular because really? people just don't have time to. And that's one of my pet hates. Yes. Oh, I can't they stand really <laughs> that's That's been very, very popular. I also take minutes for meetings, which has been very popular as well. So, yeah, it's, it's a variety of different things. People, every client wants something different. I suppose I was going to say, what do people don't like doing the most? But if people don't like, if bookkeeping is popular, then yes. that is what they don't like yes. doing the most, then, isn't yes. it? You know, so if anybody, but just for other people that they're watching it, I just think, okay, yes, it might be a small business. Bookkeeping is not really my big thing. They can also tap into other services you provide. Like, you know, you could do, you could do the, um, the PA support. You could do coal mining. That's I'll right. probably say coal mining will probably be the next for most businesses, most yes, businesses making sure that call is answered and not missed. Yeah. Are you vital. answering this call for everybody or do you have a team working for you? It's a team. So I'm actually working in conjunction with another company. Okay. So the calls will be filtered through to us mm -hmm. and if, because obviously, let's face it, I can't sit at a desk all day and answer every call that comes. Yeah. So every call that is missed by myself is then, is then captured by another caller who will answer the call as if it was their company. Okay, so, so. But that's good because then people will be wondering, is she doing this all about herself no, and then be the no, mom? So I suppose no. it's good to know that you have a team. And also, I was going to say, I mean, what are the benefits of this, a virtual assistant for companies looking out there? What